guys, so today's video is going to be a iPhone life hack. I love these life hack type videos and you guys seem to really enjoy them as well, so I decided to do one that is more technology based. I can do a like maybe MacBook life hacks or social media. I think that would be really fun, but in this one it's going to be solely on the iPhone. So if you'd like to see some tips and tricks about the iPhone that you may not have known, some of them you might actually already know and that's okay, you don't have to like put it in the comments. These are just some things that I found online and that I like figured out myself and I was like, oh, that's good. Definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already to get notified whenever I post new videos. And without further ado, let's get started into this video. So this is for Snapchat and a friend recently told me how to do this. I was so confused and I had no idea how to do it. You know how you can like draw with your finger on Snapchat and then it has all the bright colors like red and like just all these neon colors. I saw some people having like pastel and white and I was like, how the heck do you get that? So I asked a friend and what you do, it will be on the screen now, but you just you slide your finger completely over to the left and that will get it a white and then you can find like the pastel colors in between that. And then if you put your finger all the way down on the screen, it will make it black. So you can write with black writing or white or just like any pastel color so that's really cool and just really can make your pictures look a bit more like feminine and girly than the bright neon colors so when you're on your calculator and if you accidentally try to type like 255 and you accidentally type 256 then you can just slide your finger either to the left or the right and it will delete that last number that you put in which is so useful because I never knew about this so I just clear the whole equation and then I have to like do it all over again it's so annoying if it's especially a really long equation so this is super helpful. Life hack number three is to put your phone on airplane mode when you want to charge it so that it will charge a lot faster. Life hack number four is if you're listening to music on Pandora and a video advertisement comes on after the song and you just really want to get to the next song what you can do is just pop Siri up be like hey Siri and then that will stop the video advertisement and once you get out of Siri, your music will just start playing and you can essentially skip the ad, which is really nice. Life hack number five is to save data and battery while you're traveling in the car. So if you need directions to somewhere, just make sure to look up the directions before you leave and just take a screenshot of the directions so when you're in the car, you don't have to use up the data. One thing that is really annoying about the YouTube app is that if you shut off your lock screen and you just have it as a blank lock screen, as many of you probably know, but the YouTube video shuts off and you can't listen to it. So if I'm trying to listen to music on YouTube and I shut off my phone, it just stops playing and it's so annoying. Way to solve that is to watch YouTube videos on the Safari app and with that you can still shut off your phone and just have it a blank lock screen and the music will still keep playing. You can actually create apps with websites so what you do is just create a shortcut for a website that you visit a lot on Safari and then it will turn it into an app and just put that on your home page so you can access it quicker and you don't have to always look it up on Safari. So if you text a really long text and then you're like oh like I don't want to send that or you mess up on something and you just want to redo the whole text, all you have to do is shake your phone a little and then a pop-up will appear and it will say undo typing and you can undo it. So you don't have to press the delete button the, like the whole paragraph and just wait for it to delete. This will delete everything all at once. Life hack number nine is so useful and I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this, but maybe you do, but that is the beautiful creation of AirDrop. So if your friend takes a lot of pictures on her phone and then you want them on yours, you can just go and select all the pictures that you want on their phone and then you both turn on AirDrop and then what happens is all your friends pictures will go directly to your phone if you're in the same area and it's so useful and so helpful so you don't have to like send it through text which takes forever. This is so quick and very efficient. This also works for MacBooks and stuff like that too. Life hack number 10 which is actually the last one is that you can delete many photos at once in your camera roll. I think this is with the new iOS update so all you have to do is when you select photos to delete you can just slide your finger across without having to tap everyone and then it will just select like all of these pictures and it makes it so much easier to delete them. So that was it for all these iPhone life hacks. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Let's try to get to 1,500 likes. That would be big, but that would be really exciting if we got that. And definitely make sure to let me know if you like this video and if you'd like to see more like it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.